Testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. Are you serious? Are you serious? All right, the sound is good. Uh, very important broadcast, very special, a very special edition. Information that we have received, we feel like we have an obligation to share it with the general public. Uh, to some of you, this will become a shock. To others, it'll be exactly what you've been thinking was going to happen. Or you wondered, you were suspicious. Why were all of these different things that's been happening over the last five, six, seven years, why have they been going on? Why is there 850 FEMA camps across America? Why is there thousands of FEMA coffins that were identified in Georgia in an open field? How come the body bags have been shipped to the central part of America? And just what does all this mean, underground tunnels connecting to different distribution centers? And you've heard the rumors. You've heard the conspiracies. You've heard the news. And now we've got for you tonight, from the inside, a source of what's about to come. I'm going to be right back. I'm going to go into the studio. I'll meet you there. When we received this letter, we felt that we should have had just a special revelation of it. And so tonight we're going to do that. Thank you for all for joining us. An unscheduled time of 8 o'clock. Well, I mean, I did specially schedule it, but not our normal time. I will be doing a 10 p.m. broadcast to get you up to speed on all the current events of the day. And I apologize, I was not able to do my normal 12 noon broadcast, but due to... Uh, the fact that I had to do television and the fact that Heidi uh, was helping her mother, we just could not cover all the bases today. But tonight, I have a very, very serious situation developing. We have received a letter. Now, this is the third letter from this one individual that we have met and who we know who, they, who this person is. But we will remain, this individual will remain completely protected but the information, we've been getting information trickled to us, but this is, uh, this is disturbing, and uh, we're going to share it with you tonight. Uh, I have the letter here, and I'd like to read it. Pastor Paul and Heidi. First let me thank you first let me thank both of you for your continued prayers. I'm so blessed to have an online family that I can talk to. It is extremely lonely in this environment. Let me apologize for not following up sooner, but things are really starting to speed up. They have placed equipment and storage containers in every region now. The Walmart closings help shadow their activity and they are pulling resources from every facet within the organization. The B system is now in place for an EMP and nuclear attack. During training, we ask why we are being pulled from the locations outside of the surge support. They responded that everyone will be called up to go door to door, detain or process individuals. We ask after an attack, how would we be notified to report in? And why would they want to get us during a crisis? They laughed and said, you will be notified well in advance of an anticipated lights out situation. Quote, 
Do you really think we are not aware of what's going on and what's going to happen before it does? Unquote. We were told that the military has stockpiles of old vehicles or new retrofitted vehicles that can withstand an EMP or nuclear attack. We were told that businesses has been contracted out to retrieve additional supplies with or without the cooperation of the original owners. The Salvation Army will be called in to help distribute food at special locations. And we were told that everyone will either go to a destination or they will be taken to a special location. Someone asked about the rumors of the homeless being taken during hurricane in Houston. The leaders looked at each other and said, quote, provide us with proof of a body. Dark skies was the final phase of our training and preparation. The beast is looking forward to war and the mass amount of people it will eliminate. The system is extremely dark and dangerous. Please continue to pray for us during these very unsettling times. And it was personally signed by our source. For those of you who maybe just joined us, it's a very, I can't tell you who the person is. I can tell you that they do work in the government and the government agency. Um, and that this individual's been there a long time. Never before had they ever required people sitting behind a desk and doing clerical work or different types of uh, responsibilities from a, a computer. Never had they ever been taken into the field to be trained for a catastrophic, cataclysmic, yes, a post-apocalyptic America but they have been taken out into three different regions for three different times of training, uh, all of which preparing for an EMP nuclear attack. And as according to this letter, they know that they'll be able to know when it's happening. This EMP nuclear attack obviously would be some type of uh, nuclear rocket going over top the heads of the Americans that would detonate and create the EMP. But the fact that they're saying it's inevitable and they're preparing for the ca catastrophic events of a nation without power, what does that mean? What does that look like? We have no idea exactly what would happen in every major city in America within three to four days. The chaos, the confusion, the gangs, the militias, the people pulling together, the robbing, the looting, and the madness that would take place. They know. Do they know more than that? Is it a planned event? Or is it a spirit of delusion? You know, I've studied the Bible for now over 33 years, almost 34, preaching the Word of God. And raised in church, I've I memorized 200 Bible verses at the age of seven. I have studied it from Genesis to Revelation. I can tell you that there's going to come a time in this world like we've never experienced. And a time that you say, well, Pastor, we don't have to worry about that. Uh, you know, we, we, we'll be gone by them, right? Read the Bible again. Understand, we're not talking about the wrath of God. We're talking of the destruction of mankind among itself, all of which leads up to the coming of the Lord. There's been wars and there will be rumors of wars and there will be nations that will rise against nations and kingdoms against kingdoms. But certainly the things that we're reading here tonight is very disturbing. I also want to say that at the same time, the Lord hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. 
So I'm not surprised actually by what I'm reading in the letter, and it's the third letter from this individual. It's not the, I'm not surprised. I've been wondering why. Why is there 850 FEMA camps across America? Why were there truckloads of FEMA coffins that were recorded and videotaped and are on YouTube right now that were down in a field in Georgia? Why did uh, uh, Mr. Benghazi down in Florida, how could he just stumble upon uh, an entire area filled with containers that the police in the area said, we have not been told why they're here, nor where they're going, nor what's inside. How come the Walmarts closed and talked about plumbing? Why did Janet Napolitano tell you that if you see something or hear something, come see your store manager at Walmart? How come there's tunnels that are connecting Walmart distribution centers and other distribution centers of other companies with underground railroad systems for cargo and trafficking of food and water distribution? Because you can't do it on the highway. They know that when the chaos, the post-apocalyptic hour comes, they couldn't get a truck down the highway. So they're gonna transport it to the designated locations in every region by underground tunnel. Now this has been well thought out. This is a beast system. It's coming into play. And how does the new world order get control? It's control out of chaos. And so as we go forward, it's time to really become strong in your faith as a Christian. I don't know the day nor the hour these events are gonna happen. But as I'm speaking to you, Kim Jong-un has responded to President Donald Trump just a few minutes ago, just before I came on the air, saying that he does want to meet. He's willing to meet anytime, any place, anywhere. And he wants to try to work out something. But he said, but it has to make sense basically for the whole world. And your view of peace is not necessarily the world's view of peace. So now Kim Jong-un is reaching out to the different nations of the world to side with him against America. What does this all mean? And as you're all here right now, I feel like I should do this. I'll be back at 10 o'clock. I'm going to read the letter again for those that are late arrivals. And then I'm going to read a, a short passage of scripture. Here's the letter we received. Again, this is the third letter from the same individual who works within the United States government. Pastor Paul and Heidi, first let me thank both of you for your continued prayers. I'm so blessed to have an online family that I can talk to. It's extremely lonely in this environment. Let me apologize for not following up sooner, but things are really starting to speed up. They have placed equipment and storage containers in every region now. The Walmart closings help shadow their activity, and they are pulling resources from every facet within the organization. The beast system is now in place for an EMP and nuclear attack. During training, we ask why we are being pulled from the locations outside of surge support. They responded that everyone will be called up to go door to door, detained or process individuals. We ask after an attack, how would we be notified to report in and why would they want to get us during a crisis? They laughed and said, quote, you will be notified well in advance of an anticipated lights out situation, unquote. Do you really think that we are not aware of what's going to happen before it does, unquote. We were told that the military has stockpiles of old vehicles or new retrofitted vehicles that can withstand an EMP or nuclear attack. We were told that businesses had been contracted out to retrieve additional supplies with, with or without the cooperation 
of the original owners. The Salvation Army will be called in to help distribute food at special locations. We were told that everyone will either go to a destination or they will be taken to a special location. Someone asked about the rumors of the homeless being taken during hurricane in Houston. The leaders looked at each other and said, provide us with proof of a body. Dark skies was the final phase of the training and preparation. The beast is looking forward to war and mass amount of people it will eliminate. The system is extremely dark and dangerous. Please continue to pray for us during these very unsettling times. Psalms 23. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Lord, we just ask that you bless our country, bless the people, Lord, that are involved. Bless every, every one of your children. Thank you, God, for your divine protection upon the saints of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that we're covered by the blood, we understand that we cannot stop or change biblical prophecy, but we can be on the right side when our name is called. We thank you, Lord, that we feel that somehow, even though this may be the plan of the beast, doesn't mean their plan always gets carried out. We believe, God, that the prophecies have already come forth and that have turned back many of the plans of the enemy. And Lord, you said when the enemy comes against us like a flood, the Spirit of the Lord will lift up a standard. And I believe tonight, Father, with all of my brothers and sisters in Christ that are gathered here right now, or the thousands of which are watching this by archive, that greater is he, Lord, that's in us than he that's in the world. And though Satan may rage, your hand is upon your people. We thank you, God, for blessing America. We believe, God, your hand is upon it. You shed your light upon us. You've put your grace upon us. And Lord, help us to walk by faith, not by sight, not by fear, but by faith and trusting in your name, and we shall overcome. So right now I ask that the peace, the shalom, the peace, the shalom of Almighty God rest upon every family that knows you. Lord, save the lost. Help them to come to you in these last days. And we give you the praise, the honor, and all the glory, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Praise God. I wanted to share it with you. I want you to understand that what's happening out there, but I do not want you to be afraid. I'm telling you, we're going to be fine. And Satan has laid many plans to try to derail America, to try to derail Israel, to try to derail the church of the Lord Jesus Christ. But Christ himself said that the gates of hell shall not prevail against the church. God bless all of you. I'll see you tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern. We'll recap this and a whole lot more what's going on right now as tensions are seriously the biggest poker game in history is being played right now on the world stage. 
Are you saved? I'll be right back tonight at 10 p.m. Thank you.